Hello, I hope you're having a great day. Today, I am back streaming. We have a new setup, which I don't know if I totally like yet. I feel very, it's a, it's a lot of me. I'm trying to streamline my stuff. Hold on, am I coming up twice here? No, we're fine, okay. Hi, how are you guys? Hello, Aki, hello, Dom. What's going on? Seems fine, looks okay. What kind of illness? I don't even know. It was not, you know, the plague or whatever I'm not allowed to say. I think I can say plague on YouTube. I'm always scared of YouTube. It wasn't that, so thank God. How are we all doing? It has been, what, I haven't streamed in like two months. It's been a very long time. But today, we are back. We are playing Coffee Talk because I couldn't get Say No More to work. But we'll do that one eventually. I really want to do that one. All I know about this game, Coffee Talk, is we make coffee. You're a barista and you listen to people's complaints and help them not have a bad life, something like that, yes. So that's what we're gonna do today, yes. I went to Japan, I went to Disneyland here. I went to Japan and I was fine. I didn't get sick one time, thank God. I don't know how that didn't happen. We went all over the place. And then I come home, I go to Disneyland for my birthday and as soon as I come home, I get super sick, <laughs> super, super sick. But the, I've been I've been okay, so yes, I'm recovering. So I hope you guys have been keeping well. I know a lot of people are getting sick recently, so please take care of your health. Let's switch over. Here we go. This looks I think this looks okay. This chat being nope here. I think that looks okay. I wanted to streamline the process, you know. And then this. Ooh, shit, hold on, hold on. I'm moving the chat up. I'm moving the chat up. I'm gonna move the chat up like here. We're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. For now. I did what I could do while I was a little sicky. Here we go. This looks like Seattle. I'm blocking. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm blocking. Nope. Not that one. I'm blocking the, the thingy. The needle. The space needle. Oh, yeah. Duh! 34 months. That's a lot of months. Hello. Well, I already said hi to you. Hello again. <laughs> 34 months. I'm glad you're doing better. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Here we go. I... We'll, we'll find out how this go is gonna go. I have never been a barista. I'm trying to dress like Seattle people dress. Does this feel accurate? I don't know. Here we go. What's your name? It's not barista. Ah, no, please. What, what, what? How am I stuck? Are you joking? Did I really mess this? I think I really messed, hold on. I really messed it up. I couldn't even confirm my name was Barista. We're back on a rocky, rocky road. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. You get to see the intro. I did this on purpose. Yes. Totally on purpose. I know this game is popular enough that they made like a second one or chapter two. Okay, let's not mess it up this time, please. Okay. I think I would be a very bad barista because I don't drink coffee. So I don't know. Why is it in Japanese? You know what? Too bad. Too bad it's in Japanese now. <laughs> it's in hiragana, okay? You're gonna have to deal with it. I applied at a Starbucks once. The problem with working at Starbucks is you have to get up at like two in the morning, three in the morning, something crazy. Endless. Let's just, wait. Options. Oh, we should be fine. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just play the game. I can't get up that early. I can stay up that late, but I can't get up that early. Seattle, 2020. Oh, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. And soon something bad. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. Oh, that was the other thing. There's monsters. There's monsters. There's like an elf girl or something like that. There's monsters. So, Seattle with monsters. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Okay. But still, it is a place and a time where anything can happen. I have been to Seattle one time. Oh, 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 fancy, fancy, fancy. It is where the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Oh, God. 
I like this. This uh, it looks good. Where the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Where the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. Okay, Seattle's an okay city, I feel like. Seattle, the weather is good. And it's less, um, when I go to Los Angeles, I feel stressed all the time doing everything and anything. But there, it's a big city and I didn't feel the stress, so. Take that for what you will. So you were sick on your birthday. I wasn't sick on my birthday. I was sick the day after my birthday. That I felt kind of funky on my birthday, but I was I was okay. And then a day after my birthday, it was bad. And then I've been kind of sick since then. So, yes. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. I think I'd want to be an elf, like that elf girl in the dress. If I had to be in this world. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. I hope you guys have been staying healthy. It's been a very cold and rough winter, I feel like, right? It's been a little intense. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Oh, I like that. I don't know, cigarette and coffee smell? I don't think those two go together. In one quarter of the city stands a coffee shop. This is a nice, uh, city. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Nighttime coffee? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting over the stomach flu. Oh my god, everyone is sick. <laughs> everyone is recovering from illness. Dumb. Take care. Get Pedialyte, man. Pedialyte helps. It doesn't taste good, but it helps. It helps. I've been drinking Pedialyte. I've been drinking the, uh, what's it called? Supermarket knockoff of Pedialyte. I recommend it. I hope you feel better soon, Dom. Stomach flu is rough. A place where people share their stories. And these are the stories. These are their stories. Okay. So, is this like a... Mid Do you guys know Midnight Diner? I freaking love that show on Netflix. Is this like Midnight Diner, but instead of food, it's coffee. And instead of Japan, it is Seattle, Washington. Alternate universe. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. When did this game come out? Because I feel like it was not 2020. I think they just picked 2020 and didn't realize what was going to go down in 2020. Although in this universe, there is no such thing as, you know, the plague. Can we, can I say the name of it now? Now that things are, I don't know, it's been a while. I'm so scared of YouTube. You say the wrong word on YouTube. You're dead. Welcome, oh, it's you. This is the girl on the cover of the thingy. Drown your troubles in coffee. It's so rainy. Okay, what is this girl's name? I don't know. Freya! Hey, Tessa! How's the night so far? I feel like I shouldn't have put it in Japanese, but it's okay. <laughs> That's why I'm not at work. Ah, uh, I see. Take it easy. Take it easy, Ne. Don't push yourself too much. Sleep a lot. Sleep as much as you can. It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? What? So, how? She's just a regular, or? It looks like she should wear a coat or something. I'm cold for her. My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. This is a cute game, though. I like it. It looks so nice. It's so smooth or something. This game came out in January 2020! <gasps> I see. I see. Little did they know. Little did they know. Don't worry. You know what, though? This game coming out when it did, maybe is a really good thing. People are alone, people cannot leave their house, and then you have like this social kind of game. That could be good. I mean, I didn't play it till now, but you know. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. But she has a little dog thing, you see that? It's behind the text box. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. So is this my store, or do I just work here? Don't worry, take your time. Okay. I'm a writer, not an editor. <gasps> like me! I mean, that's not my... I, I'm not making any money off that currently. But, you know, we can all dream. So, I'm used to taking things slow. Hey, writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Oh, someone's here. Right? Ah, what was that sound? Pardon the interruption. The machine, 
The machine is ready. Triple shot espresso. Coffee is made from the beans. Obviously. Espresso is coffee. It's like a matcha is to green tea. Is that true? Where like a green tea flavor is mellow, but when you have like a matcha, it's like BAM! It's stronger. Espresso has more caffeine. So is it like that? Where, right? I don't know anything about uh, coffee. <laughs> is, that's probably very clear. Okay, triple shot espresso. She's going to be up all night. Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Okay. Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Oh God, okay. Uh, 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 coffee, green tea, choco powder, milk. Oh my God, everything's so cute. But we can make tea at least. I feel like once we do that, I'll feel comfortable with myself. It's coffee, right? So coffee. Oh my god. You expect me- Oh wait, no. We know our phone. Tomodachi. Oh my gosh, there's so much- Wait, what is this? She can wait. She's, she's a friend. Freya! Oh, so she's our friend. Storyteller! Oh, how cute! Okay. Writer for the evening whispers. Talks about mundane things, art and life in general. Friends only. Close friends only. Okay. So we're not like friends enough to know other things. Oh, Georgie. And uh Gila. Oh my god, friend of cats. That's all you need to know. A good man. Okay. How do I do this? Teach me. Triple espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Green tea latte? I don't believe in this. I don't believe in that. So, wait, how do I go back? How do I go back? How do I go back to my phone? Why? Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So it just should be coffee, 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 right? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew. Or is that just a regular espresso? We're gonna find out. Espresso. Is that the same thing or a different thing between triple shot espresso? I'm gonna serve it to her. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mm, that aroma. We're gonna find out. Okay. Exactly what I need. Okay. Okay. So espresso is just a lot of coffee. Anyway, where were we? You're planning to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. I feel like writing stories for the newspaper... How does that work? No, it's not like a journalist? You're like making fiction for the newspaper? I mean, this is like a fancy, different alternative universe, right? So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. Yeah. In case things go awry. It's true, it's true, it's true. What? Why is it funny? Did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. This- HUH! They run a newspaper and they're the biggest publisher? I don't believe this, but okay. So, I mean, that's convenient for you, though, Nick. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pushed my book idea. Why are you leaving us in suspense? Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how do they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month. He'll pull so- Wait, you didn't even write the novel yet and you're pitching it to people? That is the most brazen. <laughs> that feels so brazen to me. I mean, it didn't backfire though. The fact that he's even like not just ignoring you, doing a literal elevator pitch. He'll pull some strings. 
and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Didn't that just happen? Okay, okay, here's my thing. If you have an opportunity like that, then it's 100% on you, then there's no pressure in my personal opinion. The hard part is getting your foot in the door. You have a kind of a nibble on the line. All you have to do is write a novel within like, or I guess a draft of a novel in a month. That's super doable. I think so. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines? Ah. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. Yeah. That was last week. Oh. Well, again, don't look at me like that. I'm looking at you like that. Why would you pitch something you have, like, nothing prepared for? How far along are you? Er. She got nothing. She got nothing. She got nothing. <laughs> she got zero done. <laughs> Hello, Mooker Pearl. Hello, little cheeky. What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome. We are just chilling and playing a coffee talk. I'm getting mad at Freya a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you have this opportunity and you do what? I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. How much? How many pages? Oh, yes. oh. Dom! Oh my god, 82 gift subs? That's a lot of gift subs. Also, I apparently won five from the jump catch game. Girl, I didn't even do that, but okay. Thank you very much, Dom. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Freya, come on. May I see you? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to delete everything immediately. What? So, zero. Yes. Like, on the one hand, this girl's, uh, what's the right word? Boldness of being like, oh, I'm just gonna elevator pitch an idea. But the fact that you don't have anything, I feel like this is worse than not doing anything at all. Because now, you're not meeting deadline and you're already like, you're already goofing. Bet you now have a negative opinion. Like, they have a negative opinion of you. That feels bad. Nah. Dom! 83. Dom, thank you very much. You don't have to. Thank you very much. Freya, come on, Freya. Oh, yes. I really need to finish it at most, in at most two weeks. Then I'll use extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. But if you pitch the idea, you have a general idea of where your story is going to go, right? I don't understand the process of Freya at all, but we'll just we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. I, you know what? Everyone, whatever. I don't understand you. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Oh, who? I gotta make a drink. Hold on, I gotta make a drink, everyone. Ooh, welcome. Smoking! No smoking in my coffee shop. This isn't my coffee shop. It's someone else's. No smoking. Don't smoke, kids. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. What? Good evening. For here, miss? This looks, this setup feels like very much like a bar. You know what I mean? But we're doing coffee. <laughs> I'm dying to ask about her tattoo. Whose tattoo? Oh, Freya's tattoo? With the nine? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? Oh, God, I don't know. That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. Okay, then not coffee, maybe. Not coffee. Final Fantasy Nine, Maybe. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. I can't... If I had cho hot chocolate or something at night, I will stay up. Because ch chocolate has caffeine, eh? Smoking in a coffee shop. This is an alternate universe. It is. Also, like... I mean, people do this in Japan, too. But I don't understand the idea of smoking and eating and drinking. Because aren't you just gonna taste the smoke? I don't know. I don't smoke. So I don't know this problem. But 
being around people who are smoking while I'm trying to eat or drink something is like, thanks, all I taste is cigarettes. I appreciate you. Like, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. I don't like it. Caffeine either way. Yeah. I would just take a hot water or something. I don't know. All right. It's ready for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Okay. I can make hot chocolate. I can do it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anything with chocolate in it, please? All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I don't want to assume I know things when I don't know things. So let's just... Wait, how do I get up? Oh, here. That's how you do it. Ooh. Okay, so coffee things, tea things. Milk things, probably. Chocolate things, milk things. Okay, we'll just make a dark chocolate. So chocolate, chocolate, and chocolate. I want to make not that, but that's fine. Wait, uh, how do I close this? There, okay. Yeah, so it's a chocolate, and a chocolate, and a chocolate, and a brew it. Easy peasy. I'm such a good barista. <laughs> Dark chocolate, serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. I don't really drink hot chocolate, but it's good not going to get creative. I don't know, I don't want to mess it up. I don't even know this girl's name. First time visitor. So warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. I also feel like if this was our universe, everyone would be on their phones and not talking to anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Who? The only people who are doing this... Well, I take that back. I don't know. But... Night... Uh, like, uh, people who work night shift. Oh! oh! Late birthday present. Tell me you don't have to do this! Thank you very much. The, the, the gift subs are enough of a, a late birthday present. But I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I feel like... Whatever. Whatever. We don't know. There's a lot of people out, and it's past midnight, and it's raining, so what do I know? Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, we should sell food. We should be the midnight diner. We should sell food. Because you know how people will come in after midnight to look for a little snacky snack? People. People would. Is it, a, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, that's what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Yeah, that's a great question. It's a secret. Even we ha have secrets and mysteries, ne? There's a coffee shop wine bar in my city. Coffee during the day, wine at night. <gasps> That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. This is damn rich. That's the secret. I wish. I wish. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. We have to be, though. We have to be. We have our own coffee shop, and we only run it at night, and we have, like, no customer. You have to. Or, like, I don't know, you inherited this coffee shop from your grandpa or something, and I don't know, you, ha you don't have to pay as much, like... I don't know, rent on the building, or maybe you're a grandpa on the building, and he's like, here, just take it, I don't have to work. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be one of those things. One of that kind of thing. Nah, I think so. It is a really good idea. It is a really good idea. Coffee during the day, wine at night. Don't worry about it. Tess can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night? That's good to hear. By the way, are you regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. Well, really? I'm a writer who works at night in in a coffee shop. Who works best at night. Writing is best at night. I think so, I think so, I think so. But not in public. I can't even focus. Not so many options for that. Uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know? You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover stories of people around town. <gasps> that's so cute! Oh, I like this! I do like that! 
You just like go and then you inter interview like a grandma who's like selling, I don't know what they sell around here. Something. Something Seattle. And then you write a little story about the grandma. I like that. That would be a fun job. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. Newspapers have this or do I just not understand? Or is this like a, is this an alternate universe sort of situation? Because I was under the impression that newspapers have the news and then they have like obituary things, uh, maybe like a local section or sports. And then, uh, I don't know, cause I never read the newspaper. <laughs> Stuff like that. I didn't think they had like, oh, they have a vice column or something, right? Or is that magazines? Whatever. I didn't think they had short stories. Newspapers have columns from writers that can contain just about anything. Oh, I see. Bingo. Oh, they also have Sudoku. That's another one. I know they have Sudoku. My grandpa used to do Sudoku from the newspaper. But, ah, I see. So it can be kind of anything. All right, okay, okay. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. Yeah, you shouldn't be talking to me right now. You you have a serious deadline that you missed. We should not be talking. You should be over in the corner writing. I turned your chair to the wall. You're in like detention mode. <laughs> but I don't even know what to write about. What, what about your pitch, girl? What about your pitch? Write about your pitch. Ooh, who are you? The boyfriend, the boyfriend. Why does he look like why does he look like that? Why is he looking at me like... I don't like... Stop looking at me like that! It makes me feel weird! Don't look at me like that. Welcome. Hi. Wait, we don't know either one of their names. That makes me feel even more weird. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there! Hello. Has this ever happened to you? Wait, hold on, hold on. Has this, has this ever happened to you? Where? You're at some place, and everyone starts talking to each other? This has literally never happened to me in my entire life that I can remember. The closest I ever got to this is like at Disneyland, when I'm like, is anyone sitting here? Can I take this chair? And they're like, no girl, take the chair. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's really raining. Oh, yeah. Or something like that. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah. Where people are more friendly at Disneyland. But we don't have a conversation. It's more like they add a little something. Or I like your shirt when I'm asking for a chair. Or like moving table or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Here, look at everyone like that. <laughs> this, this elf boy is, he has intense eyes and I don't know if I like that. Happens sometimes at bars and club. Ah, where there's alcohol. Maybe, that's why I don't know. But I've been to a bar in Japan and it's never happened. Although there wasn't anyone else there, so I don't know. No, there were people there, but no one talked to me. So I don't know. It happens at bars. But I feel like when it happens at bars, it's more like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not the same thing. There's an intention there that might be kind of something else. This is just chatting. No one has an agenda. People are just talking to talk. I wish this would happen. It seems so nice. It seems so comfy, so cozy. All right, anyway, sorry. Would you like something to order? An intense man? Hmm. Both of you are making me mad. Just decide. Surprise me. I'm giving you green tea because you have green on you. You're like Link, but not as good. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and uh, draw some latte art. You, okay, you went from I don't know to like being super demanding and now I don't want to even give this to you. I don't like it. There is always an agenda? Nah, I don't think so. Make something new. Time to get creative. Well, now I really gotta get creative because I gotta make latte art. This guy, I don't like you already. <laughs> I don't like you already for no reason aside from this. Okay. Jeez Louise. Something bitter. Something bitter. To me, coffee is bitter. But, well, okay, I need latte art. The only one I know is this one. You think green tea is bitter? I don't think so. Matcha can be bitter, but that's why it's good. Green tea. Milk and a milk. The brewed. Wait, I don't know how to make the latte art. What is this? Toge. Oh, okay. A brew. It looks like matcha, ne? It's so green. 
It's gotta be matcha. It even has a little powder and little whiskey thingy. I feel like I can't get matcha. Matcha. Oh my god. Matcha? I can't get matcha in America. A lot of times it doesn't taste right to me. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Pour the milk. I don't know how to do this, so I'm gonna try my best. Nah. Okay, you pour the whole milk on the top and then you etch it. It says etch. You draw something on the top of the foam, so I'm just gonna pour it in. Wait, am I not doing it? Pour milk? It says. Uh -uh. Oh, ZR is to pour the milk, okay. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, no! It looks so bad! Okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. I just, I just want to cover the front, okay? Just, everyone shut up. I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't even want to look at the chat. I, get, I feel like I'm being judged. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Okay, listen. I hate green tea. I hate matcha latte. I tried it again. I've tried it in Japan, and I've tried it here, and I don't like it both places. But I can drink green tea thing in Japan. Etch. I, I don't see an etching. Maybe I did do this wrong. Oh. Can I reset it? Okay, let's try again. A ghost! <laughs> I had matcha for the first time on Tuesday. Did you like it? Was it good? Oh, did you not like it? I think a lot of people don't like it. It's a ghost. Or a hat. One of those two things. Listen, he asked for latte art. He didn't ask for good. good. He didn't ask. He didn't ask for something good, okay? This is so hard. Is this how it is in real life? It's, um... It's called a uh, modern art, okay? What you don't understand? Wow. I guess someone is uncultured, okay? It's very clear what this is. And um if you don't get it, that's just like embarrassing. That's on you. Oh my god, this looks so bad. <laughs> okay, it's fine, whatever. I don't like him, serve it, who cares? <laughs> Take it! Take it! Here's your order. Whatever! This is like one of those psychological what do you- oh, Yeah, 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 it is. It's like what ink blot. Yeah, that's what it is. It's uh, my new line of ink blot latte art. Okay. Here's your order. This one helped me stay awake. What? Yeah, green tea to help you stay awake. You served that? I did. I don't care. <laughs> I can't believe you. But at least it's got milk. What? Green tea will help you stay awake. It, ha it make me stay awake. Whatever, this guy is so sassy. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey's. Your name is Bailey's? Like Bailey's Irish coffee? Even I know that and I don't drink. Bailey's? Your name is Bailey's? All right. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Yeah, we got that. Oh my, where are my manners? Yeah, what's your name? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua! Lua is a nice name. Yes. Lua is a what? She got little horns. But she got little like... Oh, they're not really elf ears though. I don't know what she is. I don't know these things, okay? I don't play the D&D. &D. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Tetsu. <laughs> don't ask why it's in Japanese, okay? I don't know. It was just in Japanese, so... I didn't change it. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. What? Oh, what kind of work? Freelance design and illustration. Everyone has got fancy jobs. Everyone's fancy here. Lua has nice horns. Yeah! I like the print. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. We're gonna see Steve. Steve's gonna come in. Steve's gonna come in. Oh, really? No, he isn't. Oh, God. Okay. But I've dealt with worse clients. 
way worse. I hope Steve doesn't come in. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ah, uh, come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are the lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. It does sound bad. Bailey's is a strange name. I could see Bailey, but why is it plural? Yeah! That's a good that's a good point. It'd be a bit on the nose if Steve came in. I didn't mean tonight. I just meant eventually. Wait, we can like oh. I can look around. Okay, anyway. That sounds really bad. No, nah, they're easy to handle. Are they? That's because you're good with your fists. You know. You know. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I think it's a compliment. Yeah. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Yeah, go in your corner. Face the wall. <laughs> think about your pitch that you elevator pitched to the, the man. And think about being late on your deadline. And that'll get you going for sure, I think. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. I don't have this problem. Listen, I don't have this problem, but I am not paid to write. And I think that when you're paid to write or paid to make videos or paid to whatever, paid to make art, I think that it can gunk up the, the, the gears a little bit. So I shouldn't judge, I guess. I think it is harder. When it's on your own time frame, then I think things come up easier because you don't have like expectation in some way. I think so. Is that lo-fi part of the game or did you? No, it's part of the game. I didn't even need to do anything. Nice, relaxing kind of thing. Yes. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over that table at the corner. Yeah. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. Heh. Hee hee. Hee hee hee. I'll try. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Thanks. I can never work in public though. Like even going to the library to work in like school when I was in school. No. Ah, nah, here's good. I didn't even read what you said, Bailey's. Okay then. They're just going. They're just going. Oh, I pushed L. I pushed L. It's I'm covering it, but it autos. It was fine. Work was nothing special. Is it still autoing? I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus my boss was in a really good mood all day. We're just like overhearing their conversation. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I don't know memes that depict whatever. It's hard to be creative on deadline, that's for sure. I think so so you don't work in public well I mean like if I was writing something or writing a paper I can't work I work at home I cannot work like out I worry about like I don't know people looking at me <laughs> I don't know I could never focus in the library so I would never work there I would always or I'd work in my car a lot of times I'd work in my car I'd go to the parking lot and work in there because I was like no one will disturb me now yeah but I was also like super super shy like uh, undergrad, I could, I was like so, like it was bad. It was so bad. I couldn't even be around strangers without being like really, really anxious. So I think just being in the library, there's so many people in there. Even if no one's, no one's looking at me, no one cares, they're all busy. It felt too much. So I would get super like stressed out and like, oh, there's so many people. Then, uh, yeah, I would go to my car. It's not a good thing. I don't recommend this, but th that was how it was for me. Nah. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Tessa here about how to deal with annoying clients. What? Don't ask me? It's weird they're including me in their conversation, but I guess that's what I get for eavesdropping on them. Also, why is he wearing a scarf and a short sleeve? That makes me mad. <laughs> oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. 
But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. No, that's one good lesson to hear, to learn for the day. Oh, her phone. What, are you gonna turn it off or? Oh. Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well. No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. Oh no, it's that kind of situation. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got in a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farhan's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I like this, like, split screen going on. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit? Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures? About our- Wait, immortality? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are elves immortal? I didn't know that. Are they, is that like a- is it normal? Or is that like this game? I thought they were like old. <laughs> like, they- they're old. They live like 200 years or something. Like, older. But I didn't think they were immortal. Huh? Huh. About how even if I outlive you? What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lonely- <gasps> She's a succubus! She's like Ludmilla! Ah! <laughs> uh, is there like a hierarchical kind of a- uh... Look, I don't know anything about fantasy, okay? This is not my uh, zone. I don't know anything. Elves live a while, but I never thought they were immortal. Like 400, 500 years. Oh, I thought they were only like 200 years. Succubus. Succubus. If one of the two had to be immortal, I would have thought succubus were immortal. Because they're like a demons or something, right? I don't know. Demon and angel feel like they don't ever die. But I don't know. Unlike men and dwarves, elves are immortal. They feature in The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Their history is described in detail in the... Silmarion. Tolkien derived elves from the mentions of ancient poetry and language of old Northern Europe, especially Old English. I copy and pasted that. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you. I like the uh, the Wikipedia feeling of it. Yes. Huh. I see. When I think of like Lord of the Rings elves, I think of like long hair, and maybe they glow a little bit, or I don't know. I only saw the movies, so. <laughs> The, what was that guy's name? Not Legolas. It was like Legolas's dad. That was in a recent movie. And it was Lee Pace. I like that guy. And he had like the long hair and he glowed. He looked so good. Everyone looked so fancy. Elves in those movies. This is bad though. This is really a bad situation. Eh? That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this. It. I can't live like this. <laughs> Personally, I can't do this. This kind of like a, we'll just keep dating and never tell our parents. I feel like I can't live like that. I either have to decide to go with it or not. I think if it's over this kind of thing, like a racial issue, it's easy to be like, screw that. I'm doing what I want. But if it's like, we don't like, we don't like Bailey's because we think he's a bad guy because of, I don't know, some, some, something, then maybe that's more stressful because you feel like, am I being blind to it because I love Bailey's? Or 
is it like I don't know you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying that could be more complicated but when it's just like flat out racism then you're just like I don't need to listen to this nah. I've seen anime on this topic dating a succubus comes with a lot of drama even dating Ludmilla comes with a lot of drama <laughs> both sides need to feel and yeah yeah you're right see. both sides need to feel the same yeah definitely you have to agree it's good they're having this conversation it feels a little awkward to have this conversation in public while I'm eavesdropping but like you need to have this conversation of like, what are we doing and what is this relationship going to be? Because, yeah, both people need to agree for sure to the terms and conditions of this relationship. Nah. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. Oh. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Wait, what's happening? Well, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. Oh! Oh, this is fun. I like this. This is interesting. An interesting little twist. I like it. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. Wow, Bailey's. I don't mind a bit. Hmm. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I don't know though. It would be it would be hard for me if I was Lua, it would be hard for me to be like, yeah, it's fine. Just die. Like you're gonna die now because you made this decision. That would be really hard. That would be hard. If it was just walking away listen, not that saying walking away from your family isn't like a hard, difficult thing. Because it is, and I don't want to like downplay that, but that that's very different than mm, losing immortality. And I also feel like if both people have to walk away from their families to be together, it feels like you both kind of know how it feels because you both did the same thing, kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Trust me, we can do this together. I feel like. Lua doesn't want to. Bailey's is in it. Bailey's is committed. Lua doesn't want to commit fully to this. I think Lua feels like I don't know, I don't know, kind of feeling. You know? I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. Oh, she bailed. Yeah, see, see, name. I'm sorry, I had to listen to our problems. I'm sure I'm used to it. This feels like par for the course at this kind of hour, name. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Hey, I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? No, Bailey, only Bailey's Irish Creamer. <laughs> Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? I just made you one. I was supposed to make him a coffee latte and I didn't. And now here we are. Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Girl, you have one right in front of you, but that's fine. How do I make this again? <laughs> it was milk, milk. There, oh, I guess I should have made I should have made him first this one. But I didn't. So too bad. Green tea, milk, milk. Milk, milk. It's my redemption time. Time to get redemption. It's hard to tell your partner that you choose your family over them. I guess, but I I don't know. I feel like if that's the truth, then that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Ah, no! I pushed A! I wasn't supposed to push A! Well, no redemption for me. No redemption for me! And no milk on top of your thing. <sighs> this is good. Thank you for this. You're welcome, Baileys. I was gonna draw a little heart in hopes that your love life will go okay. <laughs> but now it's cursed. Now there's no heart. By the way, are you married? That's none of your business. Why are you asking me this? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. Nice, nice uh, dodge there. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Heh, <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Then why'd you ask? Man, out of all people in the world, why did I fall for her? 
you can't choose who you fall I was just gonna say that! I was just gonna say that! You can't choose who you fall in love with. That's just how it goes. That's the name of the game. The love game. You can if you try hard enough. I don't think so. Not me. Not me, baby. Not me. He likes it, though. That's true. He liked it without my god-awful art. <laughs> He's like, this one's better. It doesn't look terrible. Hmm. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pre pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. I don't think so. Not Link. Well, he's Hylian. I guess it's different. Entitled, pretentious, immoral, douchebags. Immortal. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. I mean, that's just kind of an overall choice, nah. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself un under until the sun rises. I don't think that's going to help anything, but okay. You, uh, you do that. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. Bailey's. He's drinking Bailey's Irish Creamer. That has alcohol in it, right? It's, because that to me, I can't understand. And that's why I remember Bailey's Irish Creamer. Because it's milky, but it's alcohol. Which to me, should not go together. But people love that stuff. But to me, it sounds very disgusting. And people would put it in a little shot glass. And then they take a Guinness beer and they dunk it in there. And you have to drink it quickly because if you don't, it curdles. I learned this in college and I, I will never forget it because it sounded really gross. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do you visit again? I bet they're going to come back and then they'll talk about like what happened. Nah. Were you listening or were you writing? Because you need to be writing, girl. You were listening from the corner. Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. Boy, it barely been open. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. Okay. You too. We survived one night. Yeah. Irish car bomb. Yeah. Have you ever tried it? Hell no! I can't drink alcohol, I'll die. Black lemon. Sour and bitter. Black tea with lemon. That is, that is the, that is the tea. That is good. I like the whole slice on top. Darjeeling with that lemon. So good. So good. Okay, now it's Wednesday. Wait, shoot. Was it the 22nd yesterday? It was, or did we have more time pass? I thought it was the 21st. Doesn't matter. Listen, it doesn't matter. The evening whispers? Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Oh, we are supposed to be in Seattle. Okay. Wasn't true. It's free. A free paper? How nice. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local re restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Okay. Start the day. I wonder if those stories are going to come into play here or no oh it's you good evening is this on switch yes that's uh i should i should just get everything on switch instead of steam because i have issues with my steam and streaming because my pc is potato i gotta i gotta figure it out though i gotta figure it out good gracious what is wrong with you can't you just enter like a normal customer i'm sorry but I'm so excited to share this with you. What? Freya, what? Tell me. I like Freya. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. What? But what did you pitch? What did you pitch the man in the elevator? Because that's what you have to write about. You can't just write whatever you want when you already did the pitch to the man. Huh? Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me, what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of customers' personal lives, you know? You should at least change some stuff, or like, you know what I'm saying? You can't just take the exact people. Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? 
knife walker novel versus the movie level loosely based. I have no idea what that is. The old one? Of course I'm talking the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway. Okay, what do you want? You want your triple espresso? I'm ready. I can make food. Or make drinks. I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. I know! I like this! I like this kind of thing a lot. It really- Oh, oh we know you! Georgie! You're on my phone, Georgie! Good evening, y'all. What? You smoking too? Too many people smoke. No smoking. Did you get Say No More on Steam? I did. It was on sale. And I was like, perfect! And then I tried to run it and it was potato. It was so bad. I'm gonna figure it out. But I was feeling so sick yesterday. So I could not do it. But I opened it. And then I opened my little myself. And it was like, it was like a paper book. Like it was like, gung, 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 gung. Like I couldn't move. Everything lagged to hell. And I wasn't even streaming. I just opened OBS and it was terrible. So, mm, I want to figure it out though, because there are Steam games I really want to play on stream. So, something's got to give. I just hope it's not uh, me having to buy a graphics card because they look expensive and I'm scared. <laughs> so, we'll see. Refund it and get it on Switch. It'll be more expensive on Switch. And I already I bought it a while ago. That's why I'm worried. I don't know if I can refund it. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Why does he... Why, why do you call him Pop? Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Tessa, no need to be that formal with me. We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. So, how do we know? You're another regular or what? You're as stiff as ever. Well, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'll have the shift. I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Ah, uh, yeah. Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. God, we're out of tea? Well, we have green tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with the hint of sweetness. You got that right? Just make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachil profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Healthy coffee! Healthy coffee! I like that. Healthy coffee? Wait, hold on, I want to look now. We can look at him. Oh! We have stuff on Lua! Oh, so pretty! Oh, she has a freaking French? Something about choice. <laughs> Voltra is like Vu, right? So, something about you. I don't know what Ame is. I don't know what that is. Est is. That's is. Un. Paysage? I don't know. Choisi is choice. Don't make me say French. As you can already tell, I cannot I cannot speak French. But I know some French. I took I took class. Oh god, Bailey's picture. I can't handle this kind of picture. Whatever, it's fine. I you can't you shouldn't judge. You shouldn't judge by a profile picture. Freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. See, that's what I'm talking about. It gives off that kind of basic energy. I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it, but you, you made me say it. <laughs> you made me say it, Baileys. You made me say it. Oh, we don't have anything from Georgie, though. Fine. It doesn't look like we have anything updated from Freya either, but that's fine. All right. Healthy coffee. What do you think he healthy coffee is? I just have to make it? Sweet healthy coffee. Well, I guess here we go then. I'm gonna do, we can't, what, we can't put, there's no sugar? It looks like there's honey and uh, and uh, ginger. Whatever here. Oh, I see. Can, oh, here. Let's do honey. Honey. 
coffee and two honeys because he wants it sweet. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if these go together, but is coffee healthy? I don't know. Basic energy. Apparently coffee has health benefits. I believe it. I hope this is okay. Listen, I don't drink coffee, so... Honey coffee! Let's serve it. Here. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. I love honey. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso? Okay. One and only espresso. You're easy, because I know how to make the espresso. Just straight coffee, and you brew it. Nothing fancy. I think it'd be fun to make drinks, though. Espresso. Here, take it. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. Fairy! Oh, I want to be a fairy. I changed everything I said. Change I take it all back. I take it all back. I want to be a fairy. Yes, yes. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. It is. I mean... Is she, though? Or... I want wings! Give me wings! <laughs> this is perfect. You know how convenient that would be when you don't want to walk anymore? Or your feet start hurting? You could wear heels and then just float around. Because then you wouldn't have to worry about your feet hurting or falling in big heels. Yes. <laughs> do you get to do art for espressos? No. Just the one on the top. The lattes. Nah, I think so. Healthy coffee is probably just black coffee. Maybe. Honey is good for you, right? So maybe that one is fine too? How's everything going in the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. <laughs> Well, he want healthy coffee, but he's smoking. Okay. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously? Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. It's not just that part. To me, that's not... L listen, I'm not trying to tell you not to work at work, okay? I'm not condoning anything, don't blame me. I don't think that's that unusual not to... You know, I, I know many people who have done stuff like this. But the worst part is pitching your book that you haven't written to someone in the elevator and then saying, oh... I'll have a first draft for you in a month, and then you didn't do nothing. That's bad. That's bad. She does? Gee, thank you. How's Leap of Faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any ha safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this up. things up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Tessa said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. You don't know that! This one, this one is stressing me out. You don't know that though! Like, you could write the novel and give it to the guy that you met in the elevator. And he could go, this is garbagio, I don't want it! You know what I'm saying? Although maybe the confidence is good. You need that confidence to get that, you know, that uh, book deal. Ne? So, technically I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait. Is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. No, do come on, George. Come on, George. You don't be like that. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. No one likes that. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they may take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. Stealing time is a crime. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not. I'm surprised though, hold on. I'm surprised though, like, you'd think a job like hers where you have to just make sure you write stuff and get it in. 
Isn't that kind of, wouldn't, I mean, I don't know, look, I don't know, but wouldn't you just be paid by story you write? Or what? To me, these kind of, these kind of a sort of freelance, uh, creative projects that you just deliver or like you give, I don't know, like a Bailey's, right? He like give art or something like that. Don't usually, you get a little bit up front and then you get the rest later, but it's more like a lump sum for the work that you've done as opposed to like an hourly, you, you, you check in, you sit at the cubicle, or maybe she has to go in and write. I just feel like this kind of job, I don't think she should be on that kind of clock. You know what I mean? But whatever. I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. <laughs> I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you're just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Well, good. What will it be around? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. <laughs> Georgie's like, gotta go! <laughs> gotta go! You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks for more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. That will definitely write. I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Is that a compliment or are you trying to make fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? This is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. Yeah, yeah. If you spend two hours working on something and you get a bill and you bill for eight, that's not great. That to me seems like a fraud, right? I think so. Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. That's why I don't, that's why. Don't you just get the lump sum of like, we'll pay you X amount for your piece on blah, 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 or your art on blah, blah, blah. And isn't like industry rates of like, oh, it, it'll cost, um, I don't know, X amount of dollars to do one piece of art don't, I don't know for sure, right? But like industry standard, don't they like figure, okay, on in general, it would take people five hours to draw this thing. So then we, okay, five hours times whatever the going rate is for artists. And that's how you get to those, right? I think so. I hope so. I feel like it should be something like that. Yeah. It's not like I'll be using real names. It doesn't matter if you use like someone's whole story, it could be bad. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard of, of course. That's even worse. That is even worse. Yeah. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on. I wouldn't help. I wouldn't help either, Georgie. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You helped me once with this one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secret rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me another interesting tip. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. <laughs> Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar. Oh! Oh! Bobita! Hi, I just woke up and finally reached your stream for the first time. Hello! Welcome, welcome! Thank you for the sub! No, Dom! Dom! Too many subs, Dom! 84 freaking gift subs! That's a lot of subs. Thank you very much. But hello, Bobita! Welcome, welcome! The rich beggar story seems really good. That's crazy, man. There's a lot of intense things going on in this place. The one who's always playing his guitar always get- who always got a rose with him? Come on! I want that busker to come in here. I want to see. A rose guitarist. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper? I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Yeah, I was gonna say, you write about somebody in that kind of situation, you better ask them, is it okay, before you give it to everyone to read? That's like a terrible thing. Somehow, 
doing this kind of writing, when you're really basing it off other people, it feels sort of like a gossip magazine kind of feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, it's a little... I don't know, Freya. I don't know if I like all of this. <laughs> well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become so, some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. Oh, I want her to come in. But she has bright green hair. Oh, she's already here. <laughs> she's already here. Oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Well, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? The other thing too is like, you should want to write a novel because you have an idea for a novel. But like, why does she feel like she needs to write a novel? When? She's like kind of scrounging for an idea too. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, sit on it for a while. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You don't have to like try to squeeze a novel out in a month if you don't feel it. Then wait till you feel it. Come on, Freya! <laughs> yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this? Why couldn't she write like a book of short stories? People do that? Like a book? You know? Do something like that. You don't have to do the long form. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday, gossiping about other people. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. I know it does, and that we're not even talking about freaking uh, elf and uh, succubi, right? This is like a real life issue. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her coworkers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up. Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Coffee and alcohol is not good together. Right? <laughs> hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. This one is so gossipy, though. This one is so gossipy. Like, you don't, you know, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I take what I said back earlier. Where? Everyone just talk. Because then in some way she has agenda, right? She's like, oh, what's going on? Oh, hey. Because she's going to use what she hear. I don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like that. There are plenty of coffee-flavored alcoholic drinks. Oh. Then... If you're kind of drunk, it won't help you sober up. Maybe it just makes you sick. Coffee, no. Brown before clear. Oh, jeez. Clear before, never been sicker. Coffee, lit, no. Tequila, liquor, never been sicker. Beer, something. Something, something. <laughs> listen, listen. I heard it one time from friends that drink. You're not supposed to... You're supposed to start with one and not end with the other, otherwise you'll have a hangover. Okay? That's... I can't help you. I don't drink. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Bye, Georgie! I hope you like your honey coffee! Later. There he goes. Georgie seems nice. I think I need to go back to my writing. Yeah, go in the corner, Freya. Go in the corner. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. She writing with an actual pen and paper? I rec I like, I respect that, but that's chaotic. I respect that, but that's chaotic. Because how is she going to turn that in? She got to have to type it up. 
And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, you know. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Well, now I'm all alone. So lonely. Someone's gonna come in. Well, I'm experimenting? Wait, hold on. Liquor before beer. You're in the clear! Yeah. Beer before liquor. You've never been sicker. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. A little cheeky nose. That's the one. No one uses pen and paper anymore, right? Yeah, I use it for brainstorming. Ideas? Mm. But then once things start getting more complicated, then I have to write it on the, the laptop. Or I will just get my brain confused. Or I write certain things like, oh, this would be a good idea. And then it's like, where's the paper? Where's the paper? <laughs> that kind of thing. I feel like since the pandemic, no. Yeah, that's true. That's true. A lot of things that were paper got moved like online. Yeah. Hmm. That should do for the experiment. Ah, someone's coming! Who is it? Every time I write on paper now, it feels weird. Like, I don't know how to write anymore. Oh! What are these fancy people coming? I like the vibes. I like the vibes. I like the vibes. The vibes are good. Okay, this Gala, Mr. Gala is the cat man. We saw him in my phone. I'll show you. Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you my phone. We know he's a good because cats. And he's got a lot of band-aids, so it hasn't been going too well. <laughs> but we respect and, and praise Gala, okay? Named after an apple and everything. Born and raised in Seattle. Okay. Oh, we have something else now. My self-summary of Freya. Journalist and short story writer, you can read my surreal and weird short stories in the evening whispers. Idolize and aspire to be one, to be someone like Gil Naiman or Maruki Harukami. Mm. I see, I see. All right, let's get back to it. Who are you? I'm so intrigued by these two. Hi, Tessa. Can we sit here? Of course. How, tell me about your cats. Tell me about the cat adventures. Sure thing, sir. Who are you? Vampire feeling, right? Vampire feeling. Bottom lashes. You know this is a good character. Bottom lashes. <laughs> hmm. Is this place? Is this the place you recommended? You don't like it? Is this a date? Am I incorrect that this feels like date? No. It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA. What, you're in from LA? Okay. Well, actually, I don't know. Never mind. But. Gayla. It's fine. Er. Sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? What is the LA person having? What is the LA person having? I'm either going to be like, yeah, that's LA, or maybe I'll be happy. <laughs> yes, okay. What do you want, Catman? What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything anything with coffee and ginger. Ginger coffee. Ginger coffee. Oy, oy, oy. Listen. So I, I am I am supposed to um be making things and discovering things on my own. And so ginger coffee. Here oh we can change the music, but I, it's fine. I'm feeling the vibe. Mukar Pronos. What is bottom lashes? What do you mean, what is bottom lashes? Everyone has bottom lashes and the top lashes. But if you see a well-defined bottom lash, that's how I know, in fiction, I will like this character. <laughs> mm -mm. All the, like, and all the persona, like the old school persona drawings, they drew those bottom lashes like this thick on the bottom. I don't know why. But I like that aesthetic. It looks pleasing to me. So, do you think I should just do coffee, ginger, ginger? Oh, this sounds nasty. I don't like ginger that much though, to be real with you. Not a fan of ginger, really. What is this game about, by the way? I've seen it around. It's like, I feel like nobody knows Midnight Diner. It's basically Midnight Diner. It's a Netflix show, but if you don't know what that is, it basically is, I run a coffee shop at nighttime. And random people come in and then they talk about their stories. So it's kind of like done in chapters. So first chapter, first night, was about like a couple 
that have like a issue and I don't know what the heck's coming on now we'll find out so that kind of thing like short story sort of thing it's cute yes holy smokes I think the game wants you to experiment a little cheeky was vindicated finally experimenting I know it does yeah I like it it's cute it's cute and I make drinks that I don't know if I would actually drink in real life <laughs> this seems like too much ginger should I change it? I'm changing it. We're gonna do coffee, coffee, ginger. Cause ginger is strong and that looks like raw, like raw ass ginger. <laughs> We're gonna do that. That feels maybe better. It says really bitter, but it's fine. What the heck is this? Jahe Turbrook? Well, it's a real thing, so. I guess I made it correctly. That has pieces? We just, we literally cut up pieces of ginger and stuck it in there? I would die. I would die. Well, I can't drink coffee, so I would double die. <laughs> I thought he'd grate it, or we grate it and stick it in there. Oh, man. Your sinuses are going to be clear for the rest of your life. Your sinuses, whew, that seems so intense. Good thing I didn't put in two. I'm glad I put coffee, coffee. Oh my god. What if I just did ginger? Well, I don't think you'd let me. Your order is ready, sir. The cats are gonna be scared of you. You're gonna smell like ginger for the next year. He liked it, I think. Thank you. All right, LA. What about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it would be to your liking or not. Okay. Am I the only one getting the vampire vibes off of, off of bottom lashes over here? <laughs> or is, I don't know. I'll have whatever he's having. Okay. Okay, same. Same, same. Coffee. Ginger, ginger. No, 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 no. I just said it wrong. I did it wrong. Coffee, coffee. Ginger. I don't want to kill the LA. Okay. So this is a real drink though. I wanna know, like what culture served this and how is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> that's the first thing I thought too. Okay, it's the high collar and the skin tone. I think so, I think so, I think so, yeah. Yeah, and the high collar is red. It feels even more like a vampire, right? Can vampires handle ginger? Yeah, yeah, it's a garlic. Yeah. Garlic is the bad one, ginger. I think it's fine. Ginger is just me. Wards off me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Not to mention the brooding look. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I think so. Doing this. Doing the gendo. Yeah, I think so. I feel it too, because he's pale. Yes. <laughs> Here's your order. Is it as good as LA? Right? Hmm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised to see so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in 20 years. Oh. Even this coffee shop, I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? Me? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. Oh my god. That feels like a vampire name to me. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? What part? What part? I am. I used to live here decades th ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. When people say they're from LA, does that feel fancy? I feel like to not LA people, or like maybe California people, it feels fancy. But it's not fancy and you shouldn't think it's fancy. <laughs> But I don't know. I feel like when I see like things in movies or even like a hide seem really fancy, you know? Well, we're not fancy here. Well, some people want to be bougie, but that's a different story. Um, LA in general is not fancy. So, yes. We are not human too. Are we not human too? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with us. I don't know if these people are human or not either. The only one we knew weren't human were the couple. Because even with uh, Freya, is she human or is she actually a fairy? I don't know, cause she's, I don't, that it wasn't super clear to me either. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. 
oh my god, childhood best friends, they better be dating or I'm gonna riot. <laughs> I love to childhood best friends start dating. I love this kind of story. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met n not so long after you got married. Oh, never mind. The date vibes were off. Date vibes were off. I was wrong. Okay. It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Vampire. Wait, if I'm not mistaken. The peace treaty between werewolves and vampires. <gasps> Werewolf! Ah! Ah! Aw oh, man, I shifted! <laughs> right? They, they, it felt like they would go together. The cool type with the, like, maybe more emotional, like, uh, maybe he get mad, he's trying to befriend cats, like, try hardy type. It would have been good, it would have been good, but, um, uh, the game said no. <laughs> the game said no. Manic shipper, no. When I hear someone say they're living in LA, it makes me think they're pursuing something big. The city life in general sounds fancy. As someone from the province, I'm always a Bambi when I visit the capital. Oh, I see. That kind of feeling. That kind of feeling. Yeah, I guess too, when people say LA, you think like, oh, they're trying to be singer or like Hollywood or something like that. I feel like LA and Hollywood should be divided to two different zones. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> Maybe as the game goes on. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Werewolf's a vampire. All right, chat. You want to be a werewolf? You can only pick one. And you have to be one. There is no getting around it. Okay? You have to be a vampire or you have to be a werewolf. Which one you be in? You have to pick a side. I think... I was going to say vampire because as a child, I liked vampires. Like, I was all about that aesthetic. You know what I mean? But I don't eat meat. And the idea of having to taste blood is disgusting to me. Like, disgusting. So that would suck. I would be, like, constantly suffering. Because I wouldn't want to drink blood. And I sure as hell wouldn't want to, like, get my little fangs into nasty people's skin. Like, that's disgusting. So I think I'd pick werewolf. <laughs> but aesthetically, I like vampires. Like, the aesthetics of vampires. But I could never be one. That's, that's my choice. So you better choose. Choose now or else. Was signed in? 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? No one's answering? Heh. No, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. For humans, that's super a long time. This was the place, wasn't it, where we first met? Oh my god, so romantic! Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. If he's a werewolf, wouldn't he get along better with cats? Or what? Couldn't he, like, speak the, the animal language or something? Or they don't speak the same language? Like, why does he have so many band-aids then? You know what I mean? Werewolf seems more convenient. I feel like a vampire because I'm already one lifestyle-wise. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think so. As an introvert, I don't go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I'm like that too. I'm like that too, for sure. Mm -mm. But the blood thing, I, don't, I couldn't. But I understand. Wolves and cats? I don't think that's a good pairing. Well, I guess, yeah, because wolves are more like dogs. Werewolf is more like a dog. So then the cats don't like him. Oh, but then if that was me, then cats would hate me and they already don't like me enough. That would be terrible. Maybe the kitties think he's a predator. Maybe. That could be sad. That would be very sad. Er, you happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Hey, nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Why you gotta be like this, man? Thanks. I mean, we have no customers, so it's not unheard of. I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. Oh, thanks, Gala Apple. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kind of. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been extremely crowded. Man, this is too weird that it's 2020. 
The people who wrote this must have felt so funky. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, they didn't know when they wrote this what was gonna happen in 2020. The game set in 2020. Ha. Huh. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're par just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital. Oh! I didn't notice the scrubs on the bottom. Nah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. It feels... It must have felt so weird for them to write this and then to have this happen. Hospital worker! That seems really bad that you have all these open wounds and you're in work in a hospital. Like, yikes. What was it called? Admissions officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admissions officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing things. Hey. To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering. Do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about blood last? Uh-huh. Blood last get their supply from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often. I feel like vegan. LA stereotypes coming through. It's true though, there's a lot of vegan people, okay? So this is like, you can come for us for that because it's true. It's true and it's sort of annoying, but whatever. I'm trying a vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Well, how do you live if you can't drink? I thought that's like, vampires need that to live or they die. Or they like, I don't know, waste away. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, but go by going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Fake blood. Impossible blood. I hate impossible meat. I hate impossible meat. I try impossible meat. It tastes so much like meat, I can't eat it. Even though I know it's not meat. Because I don't like meat. It's so bad to me. Like, oh my god. But if, you, if you're a fan of meat and you're trying to like, I don't know, eat less meat, I recommend impossible meat. It tastes just like meat to me. You can taste the blood and everything. It's like really intense. I don't like it. Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain. Okay. But basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. That seems important for humans. Otherwise it seems like uh, we in danger. You know what I mean? Without relying on real blood. Impossible blood. Ooh, like Marceline? Marceline? What? What is this? Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I think you are Richie Rue, though. You give me the rich vibes. <laughs> I can afford it, though. See? See? Eh. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Would synthetic blood taste good if I mixed it with other ingredients? What are we gonna make synthetic blood coffee? <laughs> uh, why? You wanna start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. I don't want to, don't make me. And turn off others. Yeah, I'm turned off, I don't like it. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. Ah. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. Heh. You know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, t talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury? Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know what. I do know that's it, that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I'm sorry, should I add a double? I can add double, ca I can add double ginger. 
It can just be a ginger filled cup and I just add a little bit of coffee. You want that? I can give that to you. Oh, from Adventure Time, the cartoon. Marceline the Vampire Queen! I got you. I got you. Don't you ever want a hot vampire to drink your blood? This is different. I think it's different to be on the receiving end than to be the one having to poke people their skin. I don't want to puncture someone's skin. That's disgusting. <laughs> I can't do that. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> different. It's different. She's a vampire that drinks the color red instead of blood. Ah. I see, I see, I see, I see. I know what she looks like. I didn't know the lore. <laughs> but I know I know her and the bubble gum and people ship them. I know that too. I'm sorry, Gala, I disappointed you. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too general. Each of us have our own remedy that we need to find. Oh, this seems kind of troublesome. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. I'll give you another cup on the house. I'll give you another cup. This sounds like a hard life. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do. I thought it was going to be crimes. This did not go the same way. Why did I think crimes? I thought crimes. Kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. Why did I think crimes? What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. Oh, can I, I can't say that word. I can't say that word. You didn't hear anything. YouTube will totally kill me if I say that. Corn. Yep. Wait, what? Twitch, though. You can say anything and you're fine, right? I think that's how it works. Most things. Like, those kind of regular words. Not trying to be, like, horrible. You can say regular things on Twitch and you don't have to fear. But you say that word, you say half... You, can, you can't say most things on YouTube or you'll get in trouble. Yes. Corn. Yes. Corn soup. My childhood ship. I feel like that's a lot of people's childhood ship. Those two. Yes. People talk about everything on Twitch. Yeah. It's just less scary. YouTube is very scary. It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel shamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? These two have a weird relationship. Is it just me? A friend told me about it. I'm sure. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common, but normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So, continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? You Can you imagine Freya in the corner just like, she's writing up a storm right now. She got a lot of juicy things to write about. Nah, I think so. I think so. So far, all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. You want a ginger tea? People drink ginger tea. I hate that. But people drink it. You know? My grandma put the, um, you know when you get like sushi and you get the show, the, uh, the ginger, that like light yellow stuff on the side with the wasabi? She would take the whole thing and plunk it in her tea and then mix the green tea together. And she was like, it's good, try it. And one time I did, I was like, this is the worst thing I ever had in my whole life. <laughs> but she did that all the time. So, maybe, Mr. Gila Appleman, I can do this for you. Maybe you like that. I don't know. I don't like ginger, really, so I was going to be a hater from the beginning, you know? Yeah, like tea, maybe. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll make it. You better write that down. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We have tea. We have green tea. Great tea is not tea? Whatever. I think everyone has a story, you know? All the people are interesting on some level. This is true. But this is extra juicy. <laughs> this is true, though. Everyone is has an interesting story, I think, somewhere. Mm. But these two, somehow, you can take it in a lot of ways. So, there's much, much for her to mine here. Yes. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting, he's gonna come back. Maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. What's happening? I'm sorry, I have to go now. Oh. There's an emergency at the hospital. <laughs> Working in a hospital would so suck though. You know, you're always kind of on call. You always have to run over there. And then when you get there, it's not like, uh, calm. 
It's kind of a crisis job, you know? I could never. I could never. I could never. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. You two are interesting. I'll see you later. Bye. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So, I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. These two are interesting. I think so. We don't have the ingredients for tea today. No tea. No black tea. Thank you. Are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys? Kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. <laughs> it's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video do you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. You. I was just joking. No, we weren't. I don't think we were. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to go get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Wait, hold on. Before this end. Ah, not that one. Not that one. Wait, did we actually hold on? Actually, this one. Did we write it down? Or did it just... No. We didn't. I guess we'll find out when he comes again. It's fine. But I want to see this. This is one. Do we have... No. We have no updated. Oh, we have... Supermodel! Oh my god. A supermodel. A supermodel came into our store. Vegan vampire professional model. Wow. The phone number is there and everything. For Alyssa. Supermodel. Oh my god, supermodel. When was the last time you got in a cab? Like, not an Uber. In Japan all the time. Well, not all the time. In Japan, I've done it for sure. So, it was like last month. But in America, I've never... I never got in a taxi. And I've only done an Uber once. Twice? Twice. Because once there and once back. But I didn't do it. I was with a group of people. I've never done an Uber. I'm scared of dying. <laughs> I'm scared of Uber, so I don't take them. Mm -mm. Hide! Wow, that was so fancy. Supermodel. We met a supermodel tonight, you guys. <laughs> I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night night. Be careful on your way back. This game is cute. I like it. I like this kind of thing. This appeal to me. It would be better if we made food and drinks. But... Russian tea, just write the name. It's a totally American drink. This looks like chai with little uh, lemons or something floating on the top. It's probably been at least seven years for me. Cabs are not that common nowadays. I like this game as well, right? It's nice and chill. I think though, I'm gonna press a button, but I think this is where we're gonna end it. Because I, I feel like this game's in like chunks, you know what I mean? I don't wanna start another chunk when it is it's soon I have to leave. It was Wednesday? It was Wednesday yesterday, right? So we're going every day. I like this. This is such a cute game. <laughs> I like it. Can I save? Oh. Let's figure this out. Cinnamon, lemons. I love chai. Chai is good. Hold on, we'll read this and then we'll stop. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Mm. Vlogging is now part of curriculum. Oh my god, it's so private high schools. Ha, oh, that's embarrassing somehow. Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orkish Workers Union demands. We still have brain. Stop, make peace. Okay, that's bad too. Here, save game. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just save. Okay, let's switch back. I like this setup. You know what? It's like very simple. There's no border, but I like it. It feels good. Look how many people are here play it again sometime. I will. I'm gonna play it next. We're gonna play it every Saturday until we finish, but it's not that long of a game, so I think we should maybe finish next time. Next time. I feel like I talk a lot, so it just it, it lengthens it out, but we'll keep going until we finish, because I'm curious. I want to, uh, yeah. 
I want to see where this goes. Thank you for joining me today. It was nice to be back. I have missed doing this. It's nice to just relax and play some games with you guys. And thank you for your patience while I was away. But I, I have returned from Japan. I'm not going anywhere now. So we should be on a more regular schedule. Yes. Uh, yes. But thank you for joining. Bobita, I liked it. Good. I'm glad. I liked it too. I wasn't sure what it was going to be about, really. It's good. It's good. Yes. Thank you for streaming. Welcome back. Thank you for coming and being here. So, yeah. We'll just keep doing Saturdays and unless something comes up. I, my, my plan is every Saturday kind of regularly. I think 4 p.m. is still good. Yeah, 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. I think we're on daylight savings or whatever. I don't know. One of those. <laughs> every 4 p.m. Saturday, and if something comes up, I'll bump it to Sunday. But I feel like that should work for the foreseeable future. Yes, yes. Thank you for stream. Thank you for coming. And Dom, thank you very much for the, the gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, until I see you next week, remember to be kind to others, especially yourself. Take care, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.